Hello everybody, welcome back to iCraft SMP and I'm out here at my Seaside Resort. Yes, why do I call it a Seaside Resort? Well, it's more, it should probably be called a Lakeside Resort because it's really next to this really awesome, beautiful looking lake here. And it would be kind of cool to light up the entire thing with torches going all the way around. Uh, I don't know if I can make that happen, but I'm going to try um, one day in the future here. But yeah, so there's a couple things we need. We have only six houses with five villagers okay that you could see the inherent problem with this so there is a rule it's essentially called the 35 percent rule so essentially the amount of doors that we have such as that door right there we have to have 35 percent of those doors equals one villager so to speak so in a sense for every some odd six houses like i have you get one village okay one villager so what I essentially am going to have to do is I'm going to have to build an apartment complex. Okay, I need to increase the number of doors in this village by quite a lot. I need to have at least 21 doors in this village. Okay, and so what I could do is I could expand out this way a little bit. You could have like a ton of torches. So I could just put some apartments going out this way. However, what would be also good is to build that way as well off on the other side of the road. Um, I could put a couple apartments over this way as well and over that way as and what we need to do is just build a few extra places where we have a few extra doors. Like right here would be a good place too. All the way up until the limits. So I don't really have a whole lot of wood on me. Good job, right? I did bring a bunch of glass. And the glass is going to be for me to actually have more field, field workers, so to speak. And so I guess what I could do is I could put like a big giant field here. Because this seems like to be the best place for it. And from there, I would have a... Ooh, almost stepped on that. From there, I would have essentially what I need to have the villagers live in for the time being. And then the question starts to become, how do I get a farmer to show up to my own village? That's going to be the tricky part. So here's the portal. And I want this to be at least reasonably close to the portal. And if I put it over there, it's not the most reasonably close thing in the world. So honestly, I don't know how I'm going to get the villager to my base yet. Because my base is also in the north direction. In the south direction, there we go. My base is also in that direction. So, you know, the further away I go, the harder it's going to become. So, a few different things I got to do. In fact, I could actually build it right out here because there's actually enough enough stuff here. So, maybe I'll build it right behind the portal. So, at least it's close to the portal in case, in case I decide to go with the portal route. Else, I could build it up on the, on the plane up here. And this wouldn't be a bad place either. I just need to, like, you know, take some of the torches out, so to speak. But yeah, I want to secure them, and I'm using glass so that way I can at least see what's going on here. So let me go ahead and get that part built up first, I think. And then that way, at least when a farmer does show up, if they ever do, I can have a farmer to work with. However, I'm going to have to get at least those guys into the little pen there. So let me see what I can do first off with that idea. Okay, folks, I've almost used up all my glass to make just one of these. So this will do. I mean, this will be a good start to get started, and, and we'll kind of see what kind of farmers we can get. All we need is just realistically to make the iron farm. All we need is two farmers. Okay, so we're going to call this a greenhouse for now. A uh, specialty made greenhouse just for villagers. Uh, this will get the breeders going, at least once I get them in here. The bigger challenge, I think, is to get these guys from point A to where they are now which is basically these two and or these three actually would probably be a good choice uh either these three or i can go with the other guys which i believe are in here ah they're there i can go with those two because those there's just two of them in that one and what i could do is find a way yeah that would be better because it would be faster to go from here and just kind of go this way over the hill up and then down the path and into the pen Okay, I know these houses here are kind of fancy with their bases and everything, but I'm just going to go with basically a simple house. As simple as I could possibly make it, you know, because um, anything fancy would not work for me, at least just to make this what I want to make it, just because I want to at least get as many little apartments as I could probably get in here. So, you know, anything as, as simple as, you know, a couple of doors, a couple, maybe no windows, just just simple little basic apartment, just with basic flooring and everything, you know what I mean? And so that way at least I can get a torch on the inside and I can get some other stuff going and a little tiny roof on here. You know, and then I could have a couple extra doors in here, whatever it is, you know, whatever it takes. So basically, basically simple, simple house, kind of like this, you know what I mean? Okay, folks, ignore the rain. So basically I built a bunch of these tract houses, though it's basically a simple house. Uh, one torch basically, uh, eventually gonna put a door in once I get all the doors. 
But yeah, so they're all over the place. I just just expanded this village like crazy. So this should give me, with the 35% rule, uh, the ability to spawn in 10 additional villagers. So 10, 10 additional villagers would essentially be the same as um, expanding my village by an additional 5 villagers. So the idea here is we can all we need realistically is just two farmers to get what I need to do. However, two farmers could just be like forever, you know what I mean? So for now, I'm going to start with these 10 villagers. I'm going to kind of see where, where things go. And from there, I'm going to try to see if I can make it work really well. These tract houses, as you can tell, are not very well built. Uh, the rain seems to be leaking through. But hey, it's what you got, right? In a seaside village. You know, it costs a lot of money to make these houses. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, these track housing looks just like, oh my god, it's just crazy. I got them all over the place. This is what I get just to get a couple extra villagers, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if I get two farmers, it's all good. Then we're gonna start to figure out where I want this iron farm to be and then go ahead and put one in. I got myself an iron door, so at least I can get these guys in here. So the idea here is I'm probably gonna have to just mess this up just a little bit, and I can't because, good job. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to mess it up just a little bit. I want at least these two guys to get in here so let's go ahead and just stick this right about there and that way I can get like the rail to go in and I think this would be good this will work out really well hello there villagers I've got something special for you guys unless you guys want to take the whole walk there I've got a butcher and a leather worker oh I got three in here oh that's nice I have two butchers then Excellent. Well, anyways, let's go take some rails here, and we'll take two of you guys and leave one of you guys then to stay in here. Goodbye. Have a nice trip. Thank you. And that would be the butcher. So I guess I should take Mr. Leatherworker here and try to get you to go over by the rail. Come on. You're going much, much... No, don't go that way. Come on. Just like right over there where the, where the cart is. That's all I want to do. You know what I could do? I'll extend the rail one more line. There we go. Have a nice trip, buddy. So let's take this out, and we'll keep this guy in there. I didn't realize he was he was still in here. Well, that's kind of cool. Then that means my other one's got a couple as well. So this will this will work out good. Okay. Why are you not going? What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? You're supposed to go that way. Oh man. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going all the way, all the way. Go all the way to the end. Come on. I can't believe I'm the one doing all the pushing here. That's just not right. Yay, I got you all in there. Excellent. So, no, 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 You stay there. Hey, it's happening, people. It's happening. Oh, nothing happened, did it? One of you is in love. The other one is not. Why? Why is only one of you in love? This is just a horrible relationship thing going on here. I gave him, like, two stacks of potatoes so far, and only one of them is in love. That's just messed up, honestly. Just messed up. Only this guy is in love, whoever this guy is. You are the leather worker. And for some reason, the butcher is just totally not in love with anything. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get this guy to love the other one, but um, he just doesn't want to do it. Oh, wow. Look at that. It, it opened up everything already. Well, that's kind of cool. 18 coal. Yeah, right. I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to go with that because it's going to work. Oh, wait. Something's happening. Something's happening. I hope. I hope. Come on, zombie. Get out of here. Wait. Did it, did it work this time? Did it work? I mean, this is just like, really, this is just like horrible. Oh my god. The butcher still doesn't love the leather worker. How do you fix this? How do you make these two love each other? Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, they made a new one. He's like right in front of the door. Get away, get away from the door. Who are you? Who are you? I don't even know, but you're not a farmer. Oh, but at least they're making new villagers. This is good news. So we have like six villagers all together. We have three in one of them with a the cleric. We have the extra one that's four, five, six, seven. We have seven villagers, so we have room for eight, nine, ten. We have room for three more. So let's hope, we'll, we'll just kind of pray and hope for the best here. Here we go, we got another one. Yay! It is a little white, a little guy in a white coat. Okay, folks, we're making slight progress. So we got a butcher and a leather worker who don't really care for each other, but they finally had two babies. One in a white coat and one in a black coat, which happened to be an armorer. Oh, that's new. That definitely new. I've never seen that one of those. But anyway, it's an armorer. And we've got this little guy here who I'm assuming is going to be a cleric. And thanks for feeding the cleric. That's so nice of you. Uh, but I would rather you feed this guy because he is a guy that could hopefully get me a farmer. I hope, like, I've got all these brown coat folks, but I've got no farmer. What's up with this? You know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to give him a bunch till we get to, like, 30 or so. 
And that should give him what he needs. At least so that way we can keep it going. What? You don't want it? Really? Did you take it? Or what? what's going on there, buddy? Well, folks. <laughs> I've got nine farmers. I mean, not nine farmers. I've got nine villagers now. I got a guy in a green coat. We'll find out who these guys are when they grow up. I'm thinking one's a librarian. One might be one of those nifty new ones. Um, but yeah, so one way or another, I'm, I'm kind of screwed here. I built so many tract houses, this has turned into a tract house village instead of a, a sunlight village. But hey, I've built these only for the reason to get some extra doors on it and to make it kind of look nifty looking. And so maybe one day I'll come back and like, when I say seaside village, make this into a real seaside village with real house design instead of this like really bad design looking house. But hey, I'm working with the track houses only because right now at 35 houses, 35 houses, that gives me 12.6 villagers. So eventually, I'm at nine now, so I have room for another three more before I have to start like, you know, ending someone's life here, so to speak. Um, so I'm hoping like you get me a farmer before that happens so that way I don't have to worry about anything, you know? And then if they don't get me a farmer, well then shoot, I'm just gonna have to, you know, figure out how to get some more farmers in this thing. But yeah, I'm keeping my original villager in the house. I have four left in the houses. So that way, if, if whatever reason, someone in here becomes a zombie, at least there's a way to, you know, protect the other villagers from getting killed because right now they've been protected quite well. Or vice versa, they die, at least each one will live. The ideal here would be to get me three farmers. Here's why. Two farmers will come to me to an iron farm. One farmer would stay behind here and, and, and just continue this process. So that way if I ever needed it for anything else, at some point, you know, honestly, at, oh good. Please, please, please love each other. Oh wait, wait, something's happening. Something's happening. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. It's happening. Let's get away. Let's get farther away. Oh, no. You don't love him. Come on. Love him. Please. Just love him. Just love him. He loves you. Come on. Fall in love. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Guys, I got a photographer. That's so awesome. Lucky me. I just have to bring a bunch of stuff and I can get a wonderful map from this guy. I figured you'd be a librarian, so I'm so lucky right here. At least something good coming out of this. I may not have a farmer, but I have a cartographer. So I'm definitely going to come back with some paper. Unlock this one, and then I've got to figure out who knows what else they want from me. And then I'm going to see what this guy's all about. And eventually he'll grow up, and we'll go from there. <gasps> Something can happen. Something can happen. Please fall in love with each other. You love the cartographer, yet he had nothing to give you. He had nothing to give you. Why can't you fall in love, cartographer? Just go in love, please. Take some of that. Take some potatoes. Fall in love with it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Well... I've been at this for quite a while, as you can see, my inventory kind of filling up with other random things now. Um, I still have an armor, a butcher, a leather worker, random potatoes that I keep finding, a cartographer, which actually needs 27 paper before the first of the 30 and the 31, and you're going to probably be a butcher more than likely because he said yes, you know what I mean? So, my goodness, I still can't get a, vill a villager that's a farmer. I've tried. I've honestly tried and nothing coming out. I don't know why I can't find a farmer. So uh, with this episode, I'm going to keep trying one way or another. It looks like they're going to try meat again. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be it, folks. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Could it be a farmer? I don't know who's loving who. It's like a try us, dear. Uh, something's happening. Did they do it? No. They failed. Okay. Anyways. So as I, as I close out the episode with the guys just in love, um, I I will see you all next time in the next episode. I'm hoping by then I will have a farmer. If not, maybe what I'll do is I'll just get to work on the iron farm and just kind of come back to this and figure out how in the world I'm going to get a farmer because I, I'm, I'll just keep trying real, to be realistic. Um, my other farmer folks in here, there should be some in this one or at least one left in this one. I don't know who's left here. That there should be somebody that's still left here. Yeah, so this guy's a butcher as well, so I can always do him in. And so I have another butcher there, and then I have a few other random ones uh, right about right about here. I have a cleric in there, another armorer, and I think a a leather worker. Let's see who that guy is. Another butcher. Okay, I have a lot of butchers in the town for some reason. Town of butchers. Anyway, so. As I was saying, I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, so hopefully by then I will finally have a farmer. If not, oh well. I'm just going to keep trying. And what I'll probably do is just instead 
build the iron farm in dead and just try to work through that and then try to figure out how I'm going to link it these two together. What I'm going to have to do with the iron farm though is I'm going to have to figure out one if I can build it where I want to build it. If not, I'm going to have to build it out here somewhere. Um, two, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, uh, no, I'm saying this wrong. Two, if you like this episode, please do like, subscribe, leave me comments. Uh, let me know any way that any way I can probably speed this process up without a, a farmer villager um, Short of just me, you know tossing potatoes at them and asking them to you know do their thing uh, I feel this feels very manual if I can just get one farmer this whole thing will be automated And I could just like sit inside one of these houses or something like that and just hide out for a little while um, But until then this is a very non automated process where I'm essentially the farmer of this village pretty much doing the work of what should the farmer should be doing for me so if anything my goal here is to have three farmers in the end oh they made another one i didn't see that there's another butcher and another butcher oh my god please why can't you be farmers well we'll just get rid of the butchers um anyways let me close out the episode all right guys see you next time bye bye guys you know what's funny i didn't actually think this through i didn't think about how to get myself back out of this place uh good job me right i failed that so, yeah, I didn't actually think that through. Okay, let's let's put this back up again. Uh, we're gonna have to make another button because I I failed. I failed.